Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how date and time works. I have an entire course which covers date and time functions. So you can look at that. If you want to go into a lot of depth as far as the topic is concerned, but this is just a quick overview of helping you understand how date and time works on Excel. So let us open the Excel file and let me remove all of this. Now, when I write a date, control semicolon is the shortcut to put in the current date. We all know that this is a DD, MM, YY, YY format. But if I convert this into a number, it becomes 44756. Now, the logic here is that the 1st of January 1900 to Excel is a starting date. So according to Excel, 1st January 1900 is 1. And if I search for, let's say, 366, it becomes, once I convert this into a date, it becomes 31st December 1900. Now, that also means that if I write 31st December 1899, it is a text value. Excel doesn't understand that this is a number because any date prior to 1st of January 1900, Excel cannot read it as a date. So this means that whenever I do the difference between, let's say, the 14th of July 2022 and the 1st of January 2022, how do I simply find the difference by doing this minus this? How is it able to find the difference between two dates? The reason is that to Excel, the date is nothing but a number and every date is a unique number. So any calculation that uses dates, end of month, exact date, network days, work day, week, all of that uses this one logic that I have shown you. Now, when it comes to time, let's say we have the current time here, which is 9.02p. This is obviously in a HHMM format. When I convert this into a number, it will be a number between zero and one. The logic is that 12 a.m. is zero. And if I say 11.59 p.m., it is one. Actually, 11.59 p.m. is not exactly one. It is something like this. But if I search for 12 a.m., it is exactly like this. Now, this means that because time works like a clock, Every day it resets. At any point in the day, I would be able to find a unique number between zero and one or a decimal number that tells me what time it is. For example, 12 p.m. will be 0 0.5 right in the middle of the day. 9 p.m. will be 0 0.88 or rather 0 0.875 like this. So when we add the date and the time together, okay, there's no formula here, so there's really nothing to show you. But when I add the date and the time together, so something like this, 14 July, 9.03 p.m. If I convert this into a number, we get 44756.80. Essentially, the number on the left of the decimal is telling me the date, and the number on the right of the decimal is telling me the time. So the moment this 0.88 keeps on increasing and we reach towards midnight, the moment it touches one, it becomes 44757.0, which essentially is 15th of July, midnight. So that's the logic, everyone. That is how date and time works. So this is just a very broad overview of how it works. The exact functions that we can use has been covered in the course, which is date and time functions.